up shredding some stover. Not doing a whole lot this year, just uh, this end over there. Not even doing it all anyways. Um, not getting too close to the edges and <clears throat> we're gonna leave a few strips in between uh, the windrows, leave a few corn row stand, a couple of stalks help uh, help protect the ground a little bit because you know wherever we shred get high winds it's just gonna blow most of that away then probably so we'll uh, leave in a couple rows stand in between everything just to help protect a little bit maybe it'll hold up some residue then it'll probably hold up a little snow then if we get any which I hope the snow stays away for a while yet it's probably not gonna net as much stover as it usually would most years because of that hail storm uh, back in September took a lot of the material down but that's okay we got uh, plenty this year just gotta clean up some of the residues we're not putting the cows up here this year um, we decided to not put the cows up here it's getting late we're selling calves later and uh, um, yeah it's gonna be getting colder then and so just we're gonna just bail up plus the pastures too the pastures got to get chewed down a little bit too Plus the cows have, they'll east the yard of the corn there where we had it. We're going to let them graze that down so we won't do anything there. So it's probably only about, I don't know, 50 acres worth maybe at most. The bale's still pretty light. I think the stuff is pretty dried out. Yeah, dry corn stover for a change. Kind of weird. While there's, uh, you know, material on there, it's better before the the a high wind gets to it too or else you just you lose it all anyways then it blows away in the wind so salvage some of it whatever stays stays then I guess a little rough here better slow down all right I just pick, I gotta pick and choose here where to uh, leave a couple rows stand who knows maybe it won't do anything maybe it'll help a little bit who knows just a have some ripples in the field, I guess. Yeah, I'm just gonna kind of probably aim to where the edge of the shredder will leave a couple rows stand or more. Depends where it's at, you know. Going underneath the, see, you know, what's which here? Yeah, I think going underneath the combine, there's four rows. Then the edge, then where the edge of the corn header, there's only two rows that are standing. Then so, just kind of aim around them a little bit. I think these low spots next spring are have to get dissed up here. They're pretty rough. Just uh, ruts from the corn planter and then uh, from spraying then too. Just leaving a bunch of ruts. So, if it's dry, you know, if it's dry enough, just uh, diss this the low spots. Get them smoothing out again. Plan, I'm planting beans up here, soybeans, so. The next year, year after that, I don't know, then maybe we'll plant wheat up here and then uh, maybe get a specific cover crop up here maybe to put like, uh, you know, some deep, deep tap roots in here to help the soil here a little bit, help with this, some of the water issues up here. Well, it'll be either soybeans and then either wheat or durum or even oats maybe. It, it, it all depends what, what we all have, what all needs to be done. I'm gonna cheat this way then a little bit. Shred some of these cattails. Take that cattail. See, this is what I kind of like to use the shredder sometime for uh, cattails. Just uh, I don't know how it would work. Plus, need the the right direction for the wind. But I can open up the top covers on the shredder and then uh, just let it all. I'll blow out the back instead of going in a windrow, just blow it all off the back, you know. But I just never have had a chance to do that. It's either been too wet or, um, or uh, I don't want to risk uh, 
fire hazard or something, or the wind's not right, or not enough time. Probably work pretty good. See one of your your right side net wrap guide on the back on your belt. One looks like it's kind of far away, bent a little bit. Darn badgers! I haven't gotten a badger yet this year. I haven't seen one yet. But a bunch of new holes all over. Unreal. Across the road, there's a strain of them, and then feel east of the yard there, there's three trails, just holes. I ended up burying them a lot. It's just a flippin' mess. Stupid striped flies all over the place. I probably killed about 20 of them already. They just keep coming. <laughs> Ugly suckers, they get into everything. When they die, they just pack in, they can pack into stuff. We've had some electrical outlets and whatnot, and some other small items. They're just they're some of our air tool, air wrenches. They're just packed tight of skeletons. Just the ugly buggers. Just like last winter, last fall, perfect conditions for them practically. I'd say we'll probably end up with 100 Stover bales probably up here. What it's kind of looking like. At least 100. But probably won't feed hardly any of this stuff. It'll just, you know, just gonna make, make a couple small rows out here. We'll haul them next spring once we get a couple bales fed up. I've been cheating over a little bit more on the north side here lighter soil a little bit it's kind of like a I don't know what you want to call it a sandy hill here kind of right where we're going here that heads uh, kind of this way and after this dip it kind of does the same thing again I don't know what you want to call it sandy just pretty sandy soil really really light I'm veering, leaving a little more stand. Yeah, I think that's got a pretty good coverage. Whatever, some pigeon grass that came, and you know the ground seems to be fairly covered. Nice, some thistle up here in the hills. Kind of crazy, this water up here. I mean, it's gone down a little bit, but it, it hasn't changed much up here. Oh, with all those dead cottonwood trees, there used to be a bunch of cottonwood trees up here until, up until uh, was that, 2011, whenever the heck that happened. Pretty much killed them off, the high water killed them all off, and most years we haven't even gotten into that slough much anymore. I mean, it's quite amazing how much water intake those trees really do take. Shows in the slough up here, that water, and uh, even when you plant crops, along close to tree rows you most of the times unless you're in a low spot most of the time the the crops are pretty poor right along trees those trees pull a lot of water
like that, buddy. Just want to make sure that thing's going to rotate freely there. Break some of the PTO shaft. Come on, buddy. Why are you being a little prick for? joint got to be a little bugger this time. There it goes. Looks good. Got to be mindful of that U-joint. Blow it off and put stuff away. Moo. Moo. Sold half the calves yesterday. So it's pretty loud around here. We, of course, weaned them off too. So it's be pretty loud here for a while. But yeah, probably the. Well, tomorrow's supposed to be kind of warm again, but warmish. But I'd say today was the last night's day. Um, weather's gonna turn cold here. Winter's gonna hit. So sold the calves. Um, I don't know if we're gonna get the PG and the cows. Want to at least PG the the heifers, but in case we sell some of them. But uh, yeah, I don't know about we'll to manage something. I want to go on vacation here in the next week at some point, but. Yeah, here's the new rim. We painted this ourselves here. Painted it ourselves. It just, of course, comes in case age gray. Usually does so. Um, yeah. Got that rim. And, uh, yeah, bought it direct from manufacturer. So, um, brother knows a person that works there that he, uh, I think he went to college with them, and he works for, for I think um, Titan, whatever Titan Manufacturing, whatever you want to call it. So um, that's where he got the rim from. So that makes two rims here now. This one's supposed to replace the one that was cracked previously. You know, the other rim is outer duel is cracked around here, um, but now you know the inner duel now is cracked on the wherever the like. Where's the, I just saw the valve stem here, right here. The valve stem here, it's pretty much cracked right here at the other rim. So, yeah, that's amazing. Boatload of money, I guess, again. That's what's new. This one has the notch here. This one has the notch up there instead. Huh. The difference is, I wonder why that's different for. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. That's interesting. This one has the notch here. No, there's a notch up there, but I don't know. Oh, this might... I think this rim's a little bit different, actually. Or, I think it's different steel. Or, um, what do you call it? Higher strength steel, I think. I forget what it was again. I think this... This... I mean, this is the, you know, correct one as well. Just that I think this one might be a little bit stronger of a rim, though same design or anything but it might be like I don't know something with the steel though on it I think it's a little different so probably have him on the inner duel he'll go on and then that one will go on to the outer I don't know when we'll have it changed or not I don't know like I say we did weld the rim um I don't know what we're gonna do when we're gonna get them changed I don't know we're trying to get as much life as we can out of that outer duel before we change it just been monitoring the last few years, just monitoring it, see if the cracking gets worse and worse. I'm just trying to get as much life out of them as we can, because these aren't cheap. So, 
but we'll, we'll make do one way or the other. Maybe we'll have to get a change no matter what. So, and then just leave the one for the spare then, you know, the one that's cracked around here. We're just gonna chuck that or use it for some fabrication work, maybe, I don't know, but. And then the other rim we might just have for a spare or something like that. Never know, that rim might be fine. If we welded good enough, welded it good enough, so find out. But yeah, things are getting put away, getting tucked away. So yeah, payloader's got to come in here yet. So probably pick up. Pickup's not supposed to be here anyway. So, <laughs> but yeah, I suppose winter's coming. I'm not ready for it yet. It's just been mostly go, 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 go. Just. It's been a rough year.